Hi guys! So this week in the linguistics lab I teach, we were learning phonetic transcription. So many of the sounds are pretty straightforward. So we have like p, t, k, b, d, g. Okay. But we ran into problems with the sounds ch and j. The affricates. The symbols for these are not obvious if this is the first time that you've thought about phonetic transcription. My students were having trouble figuring out the difference between affricates and stop fricative sequences. And with good reason, the symbols for affricates are just a stop and a fricative with a connecting bar on top. So what is an affricate? It's a stop. So these ones are all the stops with a fricative release. The stops are a class of sounds where air is completely stopped from coming out of your mouth, like P and D. We can talk about those some other time. So what's a fricative release? It's when instead of having a vowel following the stop, it has a fricative. So a fricative is like F or Z. There's air coming out of your mouth, but it's coming out turbulently, like hissing or buzzing. So an affricate starts out with a stop, with no air coming out of your mouth. So if you think about like P or T, like you don't hear the P until the vowel starts. But with an affricate, you don't have the vowel right after the stop, you have a fricative. So an affricate starts out like a stop and ends like a fricative. And why do we consider these one sound phonetically? Even the symbols are written with two symbols stuck together. Well, people think they are one sound when they're speaking. So like little kids, if you teach them to separate sounds into a word, they won't treat ch as t plus sh. They'll treat it as one sound. So one of my professors has a story about his daughter. In preschool, they taught her to recognize sounds by repeating the first sound of a word. So for table, she says, ta 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 table. And for chair, she says, cha 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 chair. Great. So that's exactly what we expect, right? The stops, one sound. The affricates, one sound. Great. So my professor pointed to the backyard and his daughter said, cha 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 tree. What? That's T-R tree. T-R-E-E. -E. But the kid knows that the sound there is an affricate, and I know you don't really believe me, but try it out for yourself. Tree really does start out with ch. The kids know it too. <laughs> Alright, see you guys next time.